Good morning guys. Let's see loops or iteration structures in C++. We have while statement, do while statement and for statement for iteration. We require iteration when we want to execute same code more than once. Fine. Let's see while statement int i equals to 1 while i is less than 10 c out i i plus plus and ending of block by, by block. So firstly we are declaring a variable i and initialize i with 1. Then we are checking the condition whether i is less than 10. So currently i is less than 10. So this expression is true. So if the expression evaluates to true, then this block will be executed. So c of i that means 1 and i will become i plus plus that means 2. Again, this will go back to while loop. No sequential. Next statement will not be executed. After ex you will go back again to your while statement. Again you will check for the condition. Now we are having is 2. So 2 is less than 10. Again this statement is. Again this condition is true. So this block will be executed. Again this will go back to while statement. Again it will check. When we will reach i plus plus then 10 is less than 10? No. False. When this condition becomes false then this block will not be executed and then Next statement is executed. Fine. So, while block is executed till the expression evaluates to true. When the expression becomes false, while block is not executed. Fine. So, this is our while loop. Next, we have do while statement. In do while statement, the same thing like this int i equals to 1 do while i is less than 10 and a semicolon and the do section we have c out i and i plus plus fine so firstly we have declared one variable i with Initialized with 1, do c of i, that means display the value of i. Here the value of i is 1. Then i plus plus 2, while i is less than 10. So yes, 2 is less than 10. Same way, one difference, suppose if I make i equals to 10, then in this case, 10 is less than 10, false. So, this block will not be executed, not even once. This will block will never be executed. But in this case, if I make i is equals to 10, then c out i, that means 10, i plus plus, that means 11. So, as you can see, this block will run will execute at least once. Here, it may or it may not run. But here, it will run at least for once. Because firstly, we are executing the statement. Then we are checking for the condition. Here, we are checking for the condition. Then we are executing the statement. Fine. So here, number of execution must be at least 1. Here it can be 0 or more than 0. Fine. 
So this is the difference between while and to while. Otherwise, the working is same. Check the condition. If the true, then execute the statement. If false, then don't execute the statement. Fine. We have one more statement for looping, and that is for. For loop is much simple than while and do while. For int i equals to 1, i less than 10, i plus plus. Fine. C out i. That's all. As you can see, in for loop, you are initializing. Right? Here we are initializing in a separate statement. But here we are initializing in the for statement itself. Then our condition, then counter. You are incrementing, right? You are incrementing, but here it is in the loop of for statement itself. For in i equals to 1, as we know in C++, we can declare variable anywhere. In C, we cannot, but in C++, we can. So, I am declaring int here in the for statement itself. For int i equals to 1, i less than 10. Yes, 1 is less than 10. Then, go and execute this for block. So, ci i, that is 1. After block, increment or decrement, whatever your program wants. Here, I am incrementing. So, i will become 2. After becoming 2, again check whether 2 is less than 10. Yes, it's true. It's true, then execute for block. Again increment, then again test. Fine. So, for is much simpler than while or do while. And we should use for as and when we can. Fine. So, let's see the syntax of these statements. Now we understand these statements, right? While expression is true, execute this while block. Fine. Do statements. Do statements. Then while expression and a semicolon. Fine. And the for, for initialization, semicolon, condition, semicolon, increment or decrement. And your for block. So these are the syntax for your while, do while and for statement. The difference between while and do while is that firstly we are checking condition, then we are executing statements. Here we are executing statements, then we are checking condition. For loop is much simple than while and do while. It has initialization and increment within the for statement itself. Thank you.